Well, listen, friends and neighbors, if you ever get the chance, come on down and join us here at the picket range. Cause we'll talk a little, we'll play a lot, sing some good old songs. We'd be mighty proud to have you if you'd like to sing along. Beck. Welcome to this week's Pick and Ranch show. We're featuring Civil War tunes done by the Fort Hill String Band. We're going to do an instrumental now, and this one goes way back past the Civil War. 
One of the early names for this fiddle tune was Bonaparte Crossing the Rhine, but during the Civil War, it was also known as Sherman's March Through Georgia. <laughs> summertime to South Carolina salty climb if in the shade you choose to lie you'll soon find out the blue tail fly and scratch them with a briar too when I was young I used to wait his table and handy plate I'd pass the bottle when he get dry and brush away the blue tail fly and scratch with a briar too and after dinner mass asleep he bid me vigilance to keep go to shut his eye Watch out the blue tail fly and scratch him with a briar too And master ride in the afternoon I follow with a hickory broom The pony being very shy when bitten by the blue tail fly and scratch with a briar too. One day he ride around the farm. The flies so numerous they swarm. One chance to bite him on the thigh. The devil take that blue tail fly and scratch him with a briar too. up and pitch and tumbled master in a ditch he died and the jury wondered why the verdict was the blue tail fly and scratch with the briar too we bear 
heard him need the cemetery. His epitaph I'm there to see. Beneath this stone I'm forced to lie. The victim of the blue tail fly and scratching with a briar too. Master's gone, now let him rest. They say all things am for the best. I never will forget till the day I die. Old Master and the blue tail fly and scratch him with a briar too. They say an army marches on its stomach, and uh, one of the more popular songs among the Union soldiers in the Civil War was the song, The Army Bee. There's a place that we soldiers all love, and the mess tends the place that we be, and the dish we most like to find there is a good old fashioned white army bee. Is the bee, is the bee that, I mean, that I mean, and we'll eat as we narrate before the army bee, nice and clean. We will stick to our beans evermore. The bean in its primitive state Is a plant you have all often met And when cooked in the old army way It has charms you can never forget Oh, the bean that I mean sauerkraut Yabo! the potato is loved by the big but we soldiers have long ago found out to our good old army beans we will stick tis the beans the bean that I mean One of the things that we like to do as a reenacting group is uh, songs that have stories with them that are about the Kentuckiana, uh, that is a Kentucky and Indiana area. Probably one of the best known officers uh, for the Confederacy from Kentucky was General John Hunt Morgan. And everybody around here, at least most people know, that in 1863, in June and July, he uh, made a raid up through Kentucky, crossed the river at uh, Brandenburg, Kentucky, and then made a three-week uh, big swath through southern Indiana, southern Ohio, and was captured uh, just shy of the Pennsylvania border. During this raid, the Hoosiers were very afraid, and he uh, had a federal army about four to six hours behind him the whole way. An interesting thing about this particular song we're going to do about John Hunt Morgan is the title and the story that goes behind the title. 
Uh, John Hunt Morgan's nickname came to be Telegraph, and the reason that he was called that was because he had in his employ a lieutenant named Ellsworth. He was a young man who was a telegraphic genius who came down from Canada to join the federal, the, I'm sorry, the Confederate forces looking for adventure. And uh, he would be constantly tapping into the telegraph lines and sending bogus messages up and down the line and keeping the Federals uh, continuously confused. His nickname was Lightning, but because of his telegraphic prowess, Morgan became known as Telegraph. And the name of this song then is How Are You Telegraph? And it's a song about Morgan's raid through Indiana. John came in excellent style to be sure, with banner and brand came he. His clattering hoofs made a terrible sound in cannon number eight three. The Hoosiers were scared so steady, the race, what a rowdy you set were they. The Buckeyes mounted to join in the chase as Johnny came riding their way. So gather your flocks and sound the alarm, the partisan rangers have come. Well, out to the road, they scour each farm and scatter at the tap of a drum. How are you, telegraph? The snow is low in the clouds, the night is gathering o'er us. The winds are blowing loud and drive the flame before us. Join with the jovial band and tune the vocal organ. With the will, we'll all join in three cheers for John Hunt Morgan. Gather your flocks and sound the alarm for the partisan rangers have come. All nights of the road, they scour each form and scatter at the tap of a drum. How are you, telegraph? John Morgan is at rain, the fearless and the lucky. A bastard soul could ever contain the son of old Kentucky. Hard is with his fate, he fights for southern freedom. If men their generals were to wait, they'll go where he will lead them. Gather your flocks and sound the alarm for the partisan rangers have come. Well, nights of the road, they scour each form and scatter at the tap of a drum. How are you, telegram? Well, we had to uh, tack my old Kentucky home onto the end of that because, after all, John Hunt Morgan was one of the most famous generals to come from Kentucky. And uh, that song, of course, was written by the famous 
composer Stephen Foster. Legend has it that it was composed at Federal Hill, the plantation home that's now uh, my old Kentucky home down near Bardstown. There's no hard historical evidence that it was actually written at the plantation home, Federal Hill, but uh, there's no doubt that Stephen Foster was influenced by his visits there in writing the song. It was published in 1853, incidentally the same year that uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin was uh, published. Most people know that as a well-known novel that uh, furthered the abolitionist cause. It was a very uh, well-known and sensational novel that was published. The original title that uh, Stephen Foster was going to give to the song was Poor Old Uncle Tom, Good Night. But at the last minute before publication, he changed it to My Old Kentucky Home because this was just a good old sentimental song and uh, he didn't want it confused with the political turmoil and uh, all the other things that surrounded the novel. We're going to close out with probably one of the most popular songs uh, during the Civil War. This is a very sentimental song and as a matter of fact, the story's told that as the war went on, some commanders forbid their troops to sing this around the campfire because inevitably when they did, some men would become so heartsick and lonesome and homesick that they would desert during the night. So some units actually put a ban on this song being sung. That's a shame because it's a beautiful song. Slowly by Lorena, frost is on the ground again. Our heads are bending down Lorena. The snow lies where the flowers have been, but the heart beats on as warmly now. As when the summer days were nigh Sun can never sink so low To be down in affection's cloudless sky have passed Lorena since you placed your hand in mine and felt our pulses beating quickly though mine beat faster for the night hundred months ago twas flowery May when I that hilly slope we climb to watch the dying of the day hear those distant church bells chime other than Lorena far more than the tongue can tell and 
wall our love had been the reader had our loving prospered well but now it's part the years roll on I'll not cover up their shadowy form I'll just say Lost years, lost years, sleep on, sleep on, beneath life's battering storm. Sand is shifting out at last. There's a heaven, oh, thank God. A life, this is so little part. Dust to dust beneath the sun. But up there, up there, it's hard to hold. It's dust, the dust beneath the sun, but up there, up there it's home.